I know and something else that was scary, uh, I guess go ahead and get into our lovely president. Um, did you see the shit that Donald Trump said about Afghanistan recently, which basically he kind of said he would nuke them if he had to? No, but he's he's always so not fucking outlandish fucking bullshit like this. And I'm surprised I'm not we're not hearing about I mean I guess he'll be out reporting, right? That ass. <laughs> so uh yeah, this was uh, earlier this week or whatever, and he was uh doing an interview with uh somebody or whatever, and then uh this is what he was basically uh talking about. But like policemen, we're not bang bang. Uh let me go ahead and run this. Because we think we're the word police. Yo, uh -huh. and I said because we believe that we're the fucking world police, bro. Like could you I mean Technically, that's basically what he said i mean i guess we could drop bombs right to try to fucking prove a point but do you think it's right for our president to fucking throw statements like that and not back it like is no that i think need? it's I, I i think it's Flexible. incredibly counterproductive to say some shit like this because again the whole thing is you say this and so now you're putting a battery like so we're not the only country that has nukes so now you're putting the battery in somebody else's back. Oh, he talking about nuking people? Oh, well, shit, nigga, I got my alarm codes ready, too. Like, I'll set some shit off, too. Like, be careful, at, dog. At, at this be point, careful. are we just race baiting? Or not race baiting, but are we just kind of waiting for someone to fucking square it first so that we can say it was defense? Like, Yeah, we're just waiting to just nuke some shit. I think Donald Trump really wants to use a nuke before he gets out of office. I <laughs> genuinely think that's I'm what I'm not going to get reelected. I might not live I, after this. I need to at least have a nuke on my on, on my resume that I nuke some shit. So, <laughs> crazy. Shit. Out, uh, to extricate ourselves. We're like policemen. We're not fighting a war. If we wanted to fight a war in Afghanistan and win it, I could win that war in a week. I just don't want to kill 10 million people. Does that make sense to you? I don't want to kill 10 million people. I have plans on Afghanistan that if I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to go that route. So we're working with Pakistan and others to extricate ourselves, nor do we want to be policemen, because basically we're policemen right now. And we're not supposed to be policemen. We've been there we've been there for 19 years in Afghanistan. It's ridiculous. And I think Pakistan helps us with that uh, because we don't want to stay as policemen. But if we wanted to, we could win that war. I have a plan that would win that war in a very short period of time. You understand that better than anybody. Uh, we've been in there not fighting to win, just fighting to, they're building gas stations. They're rebuilding schools. The United States, we shouldn't be doing that. That's for them to do. But what we did and what our leadership got us into is ridiculous. But uh, we will, I think we'll have some very good answers on Afghanistan very quickly. <laughs> so there's this uh, term that's that's been used throughout history um, called genocide. And that is genocide uh, threatening to kill a whole nation of people based off of race, religion, creed, whatever your take is to wipe an entire country off the planet. That is genocide. And Whoa. that's and again, that's one of my issues with America is if Putin said this about another country, would we laugh about it? If China said this about another country, but since we're American and this is an American guy saying it's like, oh yeah, America, we're home of the free. We're just so proud and powerful. But when another country says or does something like this, that's genocide. That's a dictator. We need to take him down. I don't understand what the difference is. Well, this not again. I'm gonna play fucking devil's advocate on this bitch or in this in this point fucking racist advocate. Let's. I can't even say that. He probably hates everyone equally, just like me. But he again, not to take out of context, was saying if that were the case, if it was just as easy as just wanting to lay shit down, that's how it would happen. So not. I don't know if he's threatening. Uh, then again, then again, it is a threat because you're you're letting people know I could do this if I wanted to. And then also, I mean, you're threatening a country that doesn't have nukes. So I could, like, a more intelligent person would have been like, yo, like, if Af Afghanistan really wanted to smoke, we could we could have it. Like, if they really want to go to war with us, we can go to war with them. But the way that he said that, like, we're not fucking stupid. You're talking about a nuke. Because you say, if I really want to kill 10 million people, that's how many people are in that country. So you're just saying you'll drop a bomb and blow up the entire country so you ain't got to fight shit. But then, again, that's the same thing going back to 
now you're talking about killing innocent people because your beef is with the government. Your beef is that, oh, there's still all this crime going on over there and we shouldn't be over there having to be a police and we're having to do, what the fuck does that have to do with any of the innocent people that are in that country? What does that have to do with any of the just regular people just trying to live their life that unfortunately won this or that lost this genetic lottery and just happened to be born on this imaginary line over here? But it's just it's that dumb shit again. And that's a, that's and shots out to Graham Hancock, who had said this recently on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, that's the reason why this whole uh, nationalism shit is bullshit. Proud to be American. Like you did nothing to become an American. Like you just right. came out of someone's pussy in America. <laughs> that's all that you did. Someone came out of some other pussy in another country or whatever and so on and so forth. So like you did nothing to make yourself better than someone else. It's just it's it's a bunch of frail, egotistical bullshit. So I don't know. Yeah, shout out to the kids that came out of uh, a, the was it anchor pussy, anchor babies, right? No, shout but out to anchor babies. I, again, I, I, I he did say what the fuck he just said, so there's no there's no taking away that he mentioned that, but also don't feel like that was man, I don't know, that was an awkward flex, that was an unnecessary flex, but I think he was trying to cover himself and saying it could be that easy if we wanted to, but. So, but again, you're mentioning all these other, all, the, all these other variables. It makes it seem as if you're as forth forward thinking that you wouldn't want that. But again, we're gonna run with the fact that he mentioned, you know, pretty much gave a definition of genocide and said that he can do it, and you know, it, you know, if need be. So, that's, but it's like at the same time, yeah, I don't know. it's a it's a damn shame. That's yeah. all I got to say. I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on the fence like this. Ooh, what are you going <laughs> to? Oh yeah. If you didn't like this podcast, it's probably because you're racist. Yeah. Fuck your feelings, though. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? You hear me?